People are connected to their mobile phones 24-7. You can take advantage of this to build support via text messaging. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up text keywords, send texts, and more. Please note that texting is available to customers in the U.S. and Canada on the team plan and above. To use text messaging, you will also have to set up a phone number in your nation. Broadcaster text message settings. Several aspects of the text message experience are defined in communication, broadcaster name, settings, and texting. All of these settings are optional. Each time a supporter uses the text keyword to contact your nation, the system will try to collect profile details before sending the supporter an autoresponse created with the keyword. You can choose to ask for name, email, and physical address. By default, only name and email are requested when someone sends a text message. If you ask for address, then decide how precise the address needs to be. The precision requested can be city, zip, and street address. The contact information requested is determined by the location of your nation. Under your profile icon and contacts and billing, if your nation is located in Canada, postcode will be requested. For Canadian nations, postcode is requested rather than zip code. In settings, nation defaults, basics, if the control panel language is French, these details will be requested in that language. Assign a point person. Point person assignment is only completed if the supporter does not already have a point person. Tag people who send text messages. Use a comma to separate tags. Tags can include spaces. The tags will be added the first time a person sends a text message to a broadcaster. Add people who text message to a past step. When a person sends a text message, they'll be added to the past step defined in these settings. Click Save Text Settings to save changes made. Send a text blast. Use text blast to send nation updates to your supporters or use them to coordinate small groups of people. For example, if you have a team working on an event, you can send text blasts to the team to give them updates as the day goes on. You can set up a text blast from two places. You can click the new text blast quick link under your broadcaster, or go to your selected broadcaster, click on texting, and new blast. Enter a slug. The slug will act as the name of your text. Enter the content for your blast. You have 160 characters for your text. We recommend including the default text stop to leave so your recipients know how to opt out of your text blast. Characters include letters, numerical values, spaces, and punctuation marks. Click preview and choose recipients. You'll be taken to a new screen where you can select recipients based on a list, tag, or save filter. Click save recipients. To send the text, go to the preview screen. Send the text by clicking send text now to X people. You may also preview the text box by entering your phone number in the text box and clicking send test text. Schedule the text by clicking schedule text blast. To review the results of text blast, go to texting blast. You can see the number of responses, unsubscribed, and failed sends. If some of the numbers on your list are not mobile lines, the sent stat will be lower. Only phones that receive text messages are reflected in the sent and receive stats. Receive texts. View incoming text keywords by navigating to your broadcaster, texting, and incoming. You can see the name, text, and time when the text was received. You can also see what action and page is associated with the text.